Are you interested in learning how to make movies, short films, commercials, music videos, and documentaries? Do you dream of becoming an award-winning filmmaker? Perhaps you'd like to be a part of our Cats TV or become a successful YouTuber. If any of these aspirations speak to you, then AV Production is a class for you. This course is designed to help you develop your filmmaking skills and unlock your full potential as a filmmaker. Sign up with your counselor and become the next big thing in filmmaking. What's good, everybody? It's Fried, and I'm excited to share with you what's in store for today's episode. My name is Bo Zapata, and I'm your host for Cast TV. We're pleased to have Mr. Albert Escobar as our guest to talk about the video game design class offered at CTE. In addition to that, we also have some great news for the ENHS Cougar soccer team and the ENHS Start Art students who represent at the High School Visual Art Scholastic event. Be sure to stay tuned for all of this and more. ECISD offers a variety of programs for students, including video game design. Today we have Mr. Albert Escobar, one of the instructors with us. Thank you for being here, sir. Hey, thanks for having me. Man, honestly, I grew up playing a lot of video games. I'm, sh I'm sure you have. What would you say have really sparked you to get into the education field? You know, I've always wanted to inspire uh, the next generation of students, and uh, when uh, the video game design uh, job came up, I was so excited because I've always been into video games, but now I was able to you know, teach students how to create video games, so that was something that uh, drew me to this position. That's really nice to hear. I, I empathize with that a lot. What would you say you're, how, or how would you say you're really impacting these kids when you're teaching them uh, the, you know, the curriculum that's formulated for, for someone like this class? Well, I, I could definitely see uh, the growth towards the end of the year, but in the beginning, uh, most of my students are fairly shy. Uh, they're not very comfortable with the computers. Uh, they may not know how to even uh, be artistic, draw their characters, but as uh, they begin, you know, learning uh, how to, you know, work with the computer, work with, work with like Photoshop, learn with the coding, uh, and then they create their first game, uh, that's when I know that I've really impacted my students. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Hmm. You know, when you go into these career, you know, institutes like this, you expect to get a career out of this. So how would you say the job market is looking like right now for coming out of video game design? So when you look at the video game industry, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about the video game industry is that there's so many job opportunities. There's uh, sound, sound engineers, there's also, you know, art, you know, those who are very artistically inclined. Uh, but there's also those who are very inclined to coding. And, uh, and, and, and there's a variety of different, uh, you know, industries that they can focus on in the game industry. As far as the, the industry job market, uh, like I was mentioning, I mentioned a few where students could pursue, right? So there's the artistic, there's the sound, there's the coding, there's also the writing part, so storytelling. Uh, there's also those who need to, need to do the uh, 3D modeling. So the animation also goes in with the game design as well. So, uh, like you said, it's multi-billion dollar. There's just an infinite number of pathways you can go down with this. Yes, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Is this a, is this a passionate class you you need to be for? Is like is this something you need to ha want to get into, or is this really just an easier laid back kind of thing? What would you say? Well, at first, some some students may think video game design. Oh, I'm gonna play video games all day, every day. Uh, but that's not always the case. Uh, we do play games, right, because we need to know what a game looks like, right, before we can create one. Uh, but uh, you can see that the passion grows when the students are able to create their game, and then they can actually now consider themselves a game designer. So the passion, some have it from the beginning, some start developing it throughout the year. That's really interesting. Um, how many years of college, for example, let's, let's stick with a time frame, for example, how many years of college you need, would you need to get a full understanding of this, you know, video game design, for example? And when it comes to medicine, it takes for 10 years, like med school, that kind of thing. What would you say is the standard for video game design? So the nice thing about the uh, game industry is uh, there are jobs where you don't need a college degree, uh, but you do need your certifications. Uh, but if you pursue college, there is an associate's degree for game design, there's bachelor's, even master's. Mm. So it just depends how far they want to go 
And of course, the more education they have, the more experience they have in the game design, uh, the more opportunities they will have in the industry. Well, if, uh, if my opinion is allowed, I think this is a really interesting class to partake in. You have a lot of interesting things to learn about. I mean, like, just the industry as a whole, this is a well worth class to take. It's been nice interviewing, sir. Um, I don't really have any more questions to ask. I'm really interested. I'm gonna have to do some more research later. Um, I'll talk to you later, I guess. Yes, um, thanks for having me. No problem. And we're back. Uh, I'm here with my friend, German Zuniga, who's taking the class right now. He's, uh, how many years deep are you? Um, this is my first year. This is first year in video game design. I'm just gonna ask you a couple questions just to get to know you a little better, get to know the class. Is this a, uh, is this like a social field? Is this like a, you make a lot of friends in this class? People collaborate? Yes, this is a social class because for we have bigger projects to make a video game. So we have like four people to a group. So you get to know those four people and then Mr. Escobar, the teacher, he likes to rotate the group so we can mm -hmm. have like different themes of video of, of games in the in the video game. All right, I mean, with your group, for example, over the past year, what have you gotten done so far? Mm, we've we've gotten done like we've had like a little like a wizard run type game. It's it's like an obstacle game. We've had uh, mind games like a uh, puzzle rooms. Mm, so like some simple startups like that. Yeah. It's, Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, so far in the year, it's uh, it's pretty much April. It's about to be well, it's about to be the end of the year. What certifications have you gotten from this? Um, I've gotten my own. The only certification I've had was my Adobe Photoshop certification. I mean, still, that's a pretty good. That's, that's a little something to get. Nice, nice. You said this was your first year, correct? Yes. How many years uh, do you think you're gonna get out of this? Like, even after high school, do you think you're gonna spend, put a lot of your time into this? Yes. Oh, this is a passion for you. Yes. This is something you want to get a real career out of. Yes. More, what field do you think in? Like, I would want to go into the more of the design part. Like, I would want to go into more of the coding part. Like, like the background of the game. Something like that. I like that, man. I, I, I see the passion with you. All right, well, the interview's pretty much done. Uh, we got some other stuff to get to, so I, I'll get you out of here, man.
The ENHS Indoor Winds Group recently participated in the Winter Guard International Region competition held at Vela High School and placed second in the Scholastic Open Class Finals. Additionally, the ENHS Winter Guard participated in the Texas Color Guard Circuit Regional competition held at Smithson Valley High School near Houston and earned first place in the Scholastic A Class. Congratulations to all the participants. We want to give a big shout out to Ms. Gabby Gonzalez, Ms. Larissa Byrne, and Ms. Maritzabel Salinas, Mr. Sci Mr. Science. 20 students will represent ENHS at the state competition in late April. In addition, EHS had six students representing their school, while Valvella and Economides had three students each. This past March the 2nd, we had VASE competition, and I feel really proud and fortunate to be working in a such an amazing school. I'm very proud of all the students who competed. We had 99% uh, getting medals, and uh, we had also 23, I believe, advancing to state. So we're very fortunate that we have a lot of students, you know, submitting the artwork and competing on a high standard competition, which is VASE. This is to reinforce the kids' skills, and so they can also apply them at the hospital. Before we get there, I want to make sure the kids know what they're doing. So we have these practice runs that uh, other classes coming in, so they can get uh, refine their skills before they get to the hospital. Thank you for watching Cats TV. We hope you found today's news informative. Tune in next week for more news.